This week's case demonstrates the chopping technique in beautiful pearly white cataract. The technique begins as standard. The first major step is of course the capsulorexis, which begins by puncturing the center with the keratome. Notice that, very advanced surgeons may opt not to use tripine blue, as you can see even in this white brilliant cataract, the margin of the rexus flap is always visible. Subtle contrast cues will show the surgeon where to grab the flap, to continue the round rexus. Now sweeping hydro dissection is performed, and nucleus rotation is verified. The FACO step begins by aspirating the superficial cortical layers, to expose the central dense nucleus, using high torsional ultrasound power, vacuum and aspiration flow rate. A central sulcus is created which will allow the phago tip to embed the deeper nucleus, to perform the first chop. This maneuver is repeated 90 degrees away, for the second chop. One quadrant is now completely free and can be easily emulsified, with care to keep the phago tip and nuclear segments in the center and at or below the iris plane. The second quadrant is mobilized and further chopped into smaller segments for controlled emulsification. These maneuvers are repeated for the final nuclear half, taking care to keep the phaco needle always in the nuclear substance, and using the chopper to feed the nucleus into the phaco tip. Moving on to irrigation aspiration step, there is little cortical material to aspirate, so mostly sweeping polishing motions are performed. A preloaded monofocal IOL is implanted in the capsular bag. Now, OVD and residual cortical remnants are aspirated. sweeping over and under the IOL. The corneal incisions are hydrated, and this beautiful case is successfully completed.